Hi, my exquisite listener. It gives us great joy to come your way today. We are pleased to welcome you to Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice of Hope. This is Daylight Magazine. On today's program, we have live songs, life experience, and a moment of truth. I am your presenter for today's program. My name is Jeffrey Agbodo. It is now time to listen to a delightful song. Fear not, for I am with you, and will always get you out of trouble. And that is the message in the song. You are currently hooked on to Daylight Magazine, coming to you from Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice of Hope. Throughout life, man has gone through different phases of realities and experiences. Out of these experiences, the Christian is drawn closer to God. To draw lessons from Christian experiences, sit back as we present to you life experience. Hello, my wonderful friend. You're welcome to Life Experience. Life Experience is a program on AWR Ghana where people share their experiences on air, where they tell us where they came from and what Christ has helped them become. So you can also learn and give yourself to Christ and also become a better person. No matter where you come from, no matter what you have done, Christ's door is open for you to climb the highest of heights in your life that is why we're making life experience a show or a program for you to learn from people so you can know where they came from and what christ has made them today today i am very very privileged to have with me a very very distinguished personality and he's in the passing of joseph na 
Tete. He has a PhD in African Studies, an M field in African Studies. He has a beer horns in English.
one, it is because of his personality. Because God is good, all that God does is good. And so Romans 8.28 is very true in the sense that God has an intrinsic innate nature that is just outrightly good. The second reason why we can trust Romans 8.28 that all things that are working in our lives can be turned out to good for us as believers is that when you look at the example of the prophet and the people of old, look at Abraham, look at Jacob, look at Joseph, Look at Daniel. We saw that all these people, despite all the evils that came their way, God turned them into good. And the prominent and profound example is the story of Job, where we see Job going through all kinds of trials, trials that we cannot even imagine, and eventually God rewarding and blessing his faithful servant. All the bad things that happened to Job, turn out to be good in blessing and a strengthened faith. In James chapter 5, verse 10 and 11, we are told that take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Verse 11, Behold, we count them happy which endured. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. The third reason why this Romans 8.28 is very true is that when we look at our own experiences, where we started from, how far the Lord has brought us, how far the Lord has been good to us, all the trying, seemingly fatal experiences that we have gone through, and how the Lord has miraculously and graciously delivered and protected us till today, we can testify that of a truth. All things are working together for our good. Someone wrote in her book, Steps to Christ, that let us look at the monumental pillars, remind us of what the Lord has done for us in the past. Let us keep fresh in our memory all the tender mercies that God has shown us, the tears he has wiped, the pains soothed, the anxieties removed, the fears dispelled, the ones supplied, the blessings bestowed, thus strengthening ourselves for all that is before us through the remainder of our pilgrimage. My friends, we can trust God and we can trust Him that all the evil, challenging experiences that we are going through today, if we will continue to trust God and to surrender to Him, if we will continue to commit our ways into His hands, He is more than able to turn them to our good. And we will sit back and look at our life experiences over the years and we will say that of a truth, God is good. My friends, good can come out of apparent evil when we have surrendered totally all our ways to God. May God bless you. My friends, you have been listening to Pastor Joseph Sarkodie speaking on Adventist World Radio, Ghana. May God bless you. Amen. You are currently hooked on to Daylight Magazine, coming to you from Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice of Hope. A-W-R, Ghana, Voice of Hope. You've been listening to the Daylight Magazine coming to you from Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice of Hope. If you need further information or study materials on issues we have discussed, please contact us on Adventist World Radio Ghana, Valley View University, P.O. Box AF595, Adenta Accra, Ghana, West Africa. Or if you have access to the Internet, send us an email through radio at vvu.edu.gh. Or better still, you can call us on plus 233-307-051. 058. If our line is busy, don't give up. Keep trying, for we are expecting your calls, emails, and letters. Today's program was presented by Jeffrey Agbodo. Stay blessed. <laughs>